Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Zen Within Me. Today's reading is going to be for Pisces Sun Moon Rising. And since we are in the week of October, I decided to do my celebrity picks this week for famous witches. Okay, so playing Ursula from The Little Mermaid, we have Queen Latifah. I don't know if you've heard about that yet, but go look it up. It's going to be badass. Okay, and then from Sabrina, the original TV show, not what's out on Netflix now because I haven't seen that yet. Um, so from Sabrina, we have Aunt Zelda, which was played by Beth Broderick. Okay, so Pisces, let's get into it. Okay. Guys, guardians, ancestors, and angels, please give me clear and concise messages for Pisces, sun, moon, rising. Pisces, sun, moon, rising, clear and concise messages, please. And continue to protect us and watch over us always. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, what messages do we have for Pisces this week? Sun, moon, rising. Am I making a fan? <laughs> okay, what messages do we... Okay, I think you have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising. So we have the Ace of Wands, and I can't see the other one because it's face down. Okay, so we have the Ace of Wands. And then we have the Four of Pentacles. Okay. Last shuffle. What messages do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising? Okay. Okay, so we have here with the Ace of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so let's see. All right, so... Work-wise, I'm feeling that creatively somebody... Hi, sweetie. Thank you. I love you. Creatively, have you guys met London? This is my rescue dog. This is my London. Okay. Yes, I can't play right now. I'm sorry. Okay. I'll play with you in a little bit. Yes. Okay. So for some of you, work-wise, creatively, I feel that somebody is, is keeping it to themselves. They don't want to give up control. So it's like, again, if you're working on a team, I say again, because this is from a previous reading, excuse me. If you're working on a team or you're doing something that's creative and you have to do like a collaboration, somebody does not want to give up their creativity. Okay. They don't want to share. So it's going to cause a problem work-wise. Okay. Let's see what else. Yeah, like any inspiration that they get to creatively grow, they don't want to share that information with anyone because they're worried that it's going to get taken from them. So if you're working, like I said, on a team with somebody, they're going to keep their ideas to themselves. Okay, so it's not going to really work. So if you're feeling that you're in a team situation and there is an issue and you feel somebody's not putting in enough information, it's not that they don't know, they just don't want to share, okay? And it's simply because they feel they won't get the proper credit. They won't get paid the proper money. You know, like you're going to, you know, give your idea to this corporation. They're going to take it and run and you're going to get, what, like a dollar? Obviously an exaggeration. But they'll make millions off of your idea and you'll get butt kissed. So it's like, yeah, I'm not saying anything. You know, which in a way I kind of I kind of understand it on that scale. But if you're working in a group and it's not something like that, then that's what's going on. They just don't want to not get credit. They don't want everybody to get credit. They want the credit, okay? Okay. Now, for a relationship, this is, this is this passionate relationship, very sexual relationship, and I feel that whoever it is that you're with, like, they, they don't want to share you with anyone else. I'm getting the vibe that they're a very jealous person. They want you all to themselves, okay, which is not a bad thing. Okay, um, just have to make sure they don't go overboard with it. Okay. All right, so let's see. What else do we have for you here? I don't know what's going on with this. I had a mantra playing, and now all of a sudden they play commercials, so never mind. Okay. 
What other messages do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising? What other messages do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising? Okay, what other messages, thank you, do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising? Okay, so we have gratitude. Okay. We have dreams. So it, as far as the relationship goes, or it could even be a, a sexual relationship for some of you, they feel that like sexually you are the male or female of their dreams and they're like so grateful that they can do the things that they can do with you and, you know, have this time with you. Uh, and then we also have shine, okay? So for those of you in the career aspect, you just want to shine. That's why, like I said before, you don't want to share your ideas because you want the credit, you want to shine. Or they want to shine, whoever it is that you're dealing with. Okay. And then we have, let's see, cycles. Okay. So with cycles, I'm also feeling that's something work-related. So you may have to do some kind of projects like on a certain cycle basis. Like you have to fill a quota. And you guys are trying to get creative with how you can do that in an abundant way. Okay, what other messages do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising? What other messages do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising from the Archangels and the Animals? Knocking them all over the place. All right. Opa! Okay. Let's put this back here. And that should be enough. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so we have dog. Okay, which is be disciplined in your home and community life. Archangel Zariel. Dogs also loyalty. Very loyal animals. Okay, and then we have ants. Cooperate for the highest good of the community. Archangel Premanelec. Ants, highest good of the community. Again, work-related. Okay, dog. Ooh, I just got a visual for dog. So, since I had said for some of you this is a very sexual relationship, I don't know, maybe maybe put a collar on him and a leash, etc., etc. Okay. They seem to be into it. You know, it's it's a fantasy. They're, they're glad you do it. <laughs> okay, what else? Camel, be forbearing and patient. Archangel Jophiel. So yeah, be patient with this person at work that might not be, you know, contributing as much as they should be. Have a talk with them. Wolf, be independent but work together. Maybe you are the one that doesn't want to give your ideas. Could also be you, Pisces, that you want to keep it to yourself for that reason that I had said. Okay. All right. Now let's see. What other messages do we have from the Moonology deck for you, Pisces? Okay, what other messages do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising? What other messages do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising? Okay, a time to give rather than take. Okay, so that gives you a little bit more information. It's a time to give rather than take. <coughs> Any other messages for Pepsi, Sun, Moon, Rising? Sorry, guys. <coughs> People coming home. Sorry, guys. They're watchdogs. Okay, so that's all I have for you this week, Pisces. So time to give rather than take. Just think about that and how it reflects in your life at this time. 
Okay, so thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Blessings to every single one of you. Peace and love, and I will see you in the next video.